Okay, we got some stuff to do in here. In frog stage. In the stone jungle. Miss some stuff. And I want it. I want the stuff. Is this real hardware? Yes, it is. Wait, actually, I, I want to see some real quick. Gonna gonna try some just real fast here. Hey, Isaac, ZJ. So, oh no, wait, that's that's retro tank. Never mind. 
had a bit of a brain fart. There was a, there was a feature I was gonna mess with, but that's that's on the retro tank, which I don't tend to use for SNES because you, the picture's not as good. Something about it can't get the right color space that it needs. Like it can't output four by four by four. I don't know why, but it can't. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Hmm. This is this is suspicious. I don't know if I ever mess with this. But I'm gonna need more egg if I wish to continue. Do I have a star item in here anywhere? Yes, I do. Okay. Oh, I had an egg item. I could have just used that. But I mean, there's a, there's an eggplant right here. Hey, look, it's one of those things. You know, you know the thing. I'm pretty sure I've only played the SNES on my grandma's TV that only takes RF. I mean, that's about in <laughs> in the realm that I think most people played any yet. Oh, okay, that yeah, this is probably it right here. <laughs> this door. The hidden submarine door, you know. But yeah, just for anyone who doesn't know, this is a one-chip SNES, which is a later revision with clear audio. I mean, video. I mean, maybe it has clear audio, I don't know. But yeah, clear video. Yeah, it's, it has a SCART cable, RGB SCART cable, and it's going through an OSSC. And it is in SNES 8x7 optimized mode. Now, some people might take issue with that. Does it still have the vertical stripe? Um, I don't see it, but uh, I know the SD to SNES reduces that a bit for some reason. Literal miracle product. It almost looks like you should be able to go up there. But I can't see any way that you would do that. But yeah, I'd have to, I'd have to try with a regular cartridge. But yeah, all things considered, uh, I I do concur. It looks pretty pristine, and I mean, good good and well, it better. I spent I spent some money on this. <laughs> very expensive. Oh, but yeah, I was saying that. Um, where does this go? I already forgot. But, what I was saying was that some people might take issue with the 8x7 aspect ratio, but as I've talked about before, there's like, circle, the circle rule. Which is where you kind of use the shape of the circles to determine what the developers likely intended. So, as you can see right here, the health bar is a proper circle. Whereas if you stretched it out to 4x3, it would be more of an oval. So that's a big reason. Though granted, sometimes I'll end up using 8x7 anyway. Because you can't quite stretch out the image as cleanly as you could on a CRT. Like this is all happening in the realm of the digital. So you have to apply some like filtering or something. Let me see, like what is... Let's just take a... Let's just take a look real quick. Now where, where would this be? Probably output. Yeah, there, there we go. So yeah, this is like... I mean, that doesn't look too bad, but it's like way too wide. On the OSSC. Now, I know that if you do... Th oh, I lost it. 
But yeah, this is like yeah, as you can see, that looks pretty hideous. <laughs> you don't you, you don't want to do that. So yeah, sometimes you just have to make some compromises, like... I mean, the retro tank is a bit better at, you know, filtering the image. You you kind of have to filter it if you want it to look at all decent when you stretch it out. No, no, let me out of here, let me out of here! But yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's just the nature of the beast, but... You know, it, it, I guess it's not that bad because most people were playing these games on blurry freaking CRTs anyway, so it's not it's not like it's that different. But yeah, if you if you want the clearest possible image though, you pretty much have to go with 8x7 on the OSSC. Anyway, last time we were in here <laughs> I was singing the Panasonic Blu-ray lyrics to the song. Which apparently is something that every streamer and their brother has done. And I can only come to one conclusion, and that is group hypnosis. Dustin, what would you do if the only way to play your favorite game in RGB was to kill God? Hmm. That's a toughie. But I like to think that I've already achieved the power of God. Behold. <laughs> Luckily, I think that this proves that we... <laughs> that if there is a god, he wants us to be happy. So, it's a moot point anyway. Absurdly high definition Yoshi's Island. Now, another downside to that, though, is... Obviously, there are some games where the developers intended for... Composite blur to... Didn't mean to do that. Compo they intended for the composite blur to sort of blend colors together. Now, I'm not gonna say that, like, every instance of dithering is like that. You know, some people insist that it is. But dithering was also used in a lot of other cases where that logic doesn't necessarily apply. Such as on handheld consoles, which obviously the developers of the hardware could hand pick the screen that they wanted. Okay, we're good on coins. But yeah, they could hand pick the screen. They knew what it was gonna look like every single time. And most of the time, I mean, the pixel clarity was pretty good. I mean, on the original Game Boy had some ghosting, but... You know, it wasn't too bad. As far as pixel clarity goes. So usually when they did dithering, I think it's just because it's the next best thing. Can I, like, move the camera at all? Like Mario World? I tried to do it like Mario World, like the... Yeah, some devs weren't accounting for stuff like that, but, but yeah, what I was saying is... Game Boy Advance, like, I remember Sonic Advance and stuff... ...had a bunch of dithering, and naturally the composite blur doesn't really apply there unless you were playing on a Game Boy player. Oh yeah, I remember this. I feel like Genesis dithering was usually on purpose because of how often it was done using vertical lines. Yeah, that's, it's, it's likely. Like, don't get me wrong. But I don't know. At the end of the- at the end of the day, there's only- I guess there's only so much to be gained out of seeking perfection. Oh, crap. Crap. Like, there, there's gotta be a point where you look at something and you just say, Yeah, that's good enough.
Now, I will say, though, that Kirby's Dream Land 3 uses a lot of stuff like that. Like, it even goes into, like, higher resolution modes. So I'm wondering what I'm going to do about that when I eventually get there. Okay, so now we're good. So, I'm gonna have to beat this boss either without getting hit or use the star at the last moment. I like that he transforms me for this. <laughs> like, the frog stays exactly the same. <laughs> I'm so glad we can use these alternate screen res modes and how it won't completely fuck up a streamer named Dustin in 2023. Yeah, I remember somebody... <laughs> somebody on, like, my, uh... Twitter... <laughs> was saying, like... Didn't Capcom know how awful Bubble Man's stage would look on Twitch? <laughs> like, come on. And it truly does. You need, like, bitrate of the gods for that. Oh, I might be good. I might be good. No! Fudge and poopy and a stinky butthole. Okay, let's bust it out. Oh, I can't bust it out. I gotta die. I, I gotta die. They have a absolutely no items flag turned on. This song always reminds me of the Angry Beavers credit thing. How did- how do they get that? How do they go in and, like, get him? Those frogs there are the scariest thing. <laughs> do you really want to know? I suppose not. This is a weird boss. Okay, let's let's try that again. I mean the scaling effects are impressive though. Look at this. Look at this I wonder if that's like the SNES's masking feature at work Yeah, so can't get hit even once I mean I suppose you know if I if I was trying to avoid being digested, I wouldn't want to get digested at all. I mean, I guess I'd be willing to accept minimal if that was my only choice, but, you know... There we go. <laughs> this is actually the SNES's seldom used disgusting organ scaling feature. <laughs> Little digestion is fine. <laughs> the way this boss ends, though, just always... It always makes me laugh, because it's kind of just- It's just so unexpected from a Nintendo game. Like, you just- The frog shits you out, and Yoshi's just like... <laughs> as- As I believe we all would be in such a situation. Okay, moving on. I'm glad that didn't take as long as I thought. The frog's not very happy about it either. Yoshi's like, physically, yes, I have won. But mentally, I may never recover from this. Come on, give me, give me watermelon. Don't be a jerk. Share. Remember to share, kids. Oh, wait, I gotta... It didn't... <laughs> Dustin, what would you do if your only way to play the favorite- play your favorite game in RGB was to go through a frog anus? 
Well, my friend, you should feel sorry that you ever asked that. I may be the one that killed God, killed God, but you are the one that will have to answer to him. Why is the flower pot just hanging out there? Man, every game in this song is just so YouTube poop music videoable. Oh, it's the condom. Nope, 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 nope. Get out. YouTube poop music videoable is not a real series of words. It is now, baby. Why is that not a red coin? <laughs> Did I say every game in this song? <laughs> Uh, I, so there are some days I just cannot speak. Granted, that's usually most of them, but... Nonetheless, that is some. A non-zero amount. Who gave the monkeys missiles? Oh wait, there's ground down here. Oh, another spike. <laughs> oh, that is, that is precarious. Nobody gave the monkeys missiles, they stole them. Yeah, I suppose that adds up. How do I hit this? <laughs> oh, I probably do this. Nope, <laughs> that's not the answer either. There's something so visceral about the mud on this stage. Yeah, I know, right? It's like, something about the mud in this game just kind of looks like- It looks like custard. Custard mud. Nope. Nope. Yep. Anything down there? Uh, Yoshi, you alright? Can I just- can I always do it? Wait, 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 science, science. Yup, you can just- you can just do this. He'll- he'll just sit there. Oh, crap. Oh, no, 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 no. No, monkey. Monkey! There we go. You guys ever think about the scene from the Mario movie where Koopa says monkey? I think about it pretty much every waking moment of my life. It occurs to me that I'm soon going to have to specify which Mario movie. I'm not sure if I'm prepared for that reality. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay, that wasn't that bad, but I'd still have preferred if that- NO! He's the stronger kind that does not die. <laughs> not even a, a Yukiki, they could just have Donkey Kong. Who is confirmed in the movie. And he beats the ever-loving shit out of the main character, god bless. I'm surprised they allowed that. I feel like Nintendo would be like, no, no, Donkey Kong can't brutally murder Mario. That is not allowed as per our Nintendo mandates. Donkey Kong has seniority. That is true. Um, what am I, what am I looking at here? I hope I have not jumped to my death. I have jumped to my death. Every Mario trailer has Mario getting the shit beat out of him by something. Yeah, that's... That was true of Smash Brothers, too. S 
Mr. Sakurai walked in the room and was just like, All right, we're about to announce a new character. And Mario was just like, No! <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> I forgot the diarrhea! <laughs> The Mario movie is a Mario Red Room. Is that like, you know, from The Shining? <laughs> oh wait, you're probably supposed to do this. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot easier than what I did. Now, what I want to know... Like, where's the entrance to that area? Like, is it down here? Because I, I don't want to go here, because I feel like it'll, it'll make me... It'll make me not be able to go back. Oh, okay, you can go back. Never mind. Red rooms are an urban legend of people streaming murder slash torture. They don't exist for very obvious log logistical reasons. Oh, I see. I'm sorry that I had. I'm sorry I had you explain the joke and ruined its comedic value. Okay, that's everyone in the game. Well, not everyone in the game. It's everyone in the stage, at least. Uh, yeah, I, I can't speak today. This is one of those can't speak days. That'd be wild if it was everyone in the game. They just kind of gave up early. Okay, so I'm going to take a chance on this. Ah, uh, my chance did not pay off. I survived for a comically long time down there. Oh no! Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm good. Just do all the same stuff again, and do it all again, and do it all again. <laughs> We're gonna do it 1,000 times over again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, see you, ZJ. Are we sure that's not an urban legend? Oh, that was a good shot. Okay, so this looks like the only entrance. So maybe I'm just missing something. You ever notice how there's like a little bit of a pause when I eat a watermelon? Are they having to load in the watermelon banks? Don't fall in the hole. Now, okay, there's blocks. Oh, there we go. It was so simple that a baby could do it. But the baby didn't do it, it was the dinosaur. I've just sent that man to an early grave. Is 
Is there a flower in here? I'm gonna be disappointed if there's not a flower in here. I mean, there's plenty of one-ups, but who cares about that? Dear God, how is my aim so impeccable? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, can I have that? Oh. Ah, oh, no! One star missing. I sure hope I get another. I mean, I have ways of getting more star items if I need to. It's basically free. Hey. Oh, no, 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 no! Monkey! Monkey pain area! Yes! Yes! No! <laughs> Curse you! I can't believe all of the effort in my life has pr have, have proven fruitless in the face of Monkey. And look at the goals right down here. Yep, there it is. But I can't go there yet, there's a flower. Okay. But now, now I'm in a bond. Ah, cool. Cool. Oh well. I need to use some of these watermelons already. <laughs> But what if I need them for the final boss? Get a star. Okay, can we get a star? That's not a star. That's not a star. I mean, that's 10 star, but I prefer 20. There we go. Every time I play this mini game, I somehow get a fucking Kamek right away. I mean, that's what happened to me the first time. That was just an exceptionally good round that I put no effort into. The cave of Harry Hedgehog. A hedgehog, you say? Harry Housens? Look, look at this, look at this stuff. What the heck? Ah! Mouse! No! No, that's mine! Mine, give it back! The fire! Torch him! Torch him and watch him burn! Oh, look! It's Harry Hedgehog! Legally distinct Hedgehog! Did you know in the original version of the film, they blow up the sushi place? But after 9-11, they changed it to putting it in a force field? Is that true? Like, did that- did that ever make it into a proper version? Or was that just like, just in the storyboards? Or like, pre preliminary CGI? 
It's on the Blu-ray? Interesting, I, I, I don't remember if I have the Blu-ray, but if I do, I need to check that out at some point. It's sort of a shame, though, because that's, <laughs> that's really funny. What do I do about this? There's like stuff over there I can't get. I mean, you don't have to tell me, I just, I just was like, thinking. Thinking out loud. I did watch A Bug's Life on that note. Ah oh, yes, and how was it? How did you find it? How did the email find you? Yeah, I wonder if we're about to get in a mole tank. I think it's a funnier movie than when you're older than like... Than when you're older than like five. Yeah, probably. There's like so much going on. Okay, well I guess we're doing this now. The way I am steering this contraption makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Nope. Nope. I reign supreme. But there's stuff over here I still need to get. Now the thing is, is there anything over here that I want? No, there's not, I just remembered. Jennifer thought the Club Saturn invite was a website you run, run called Jegtafel. Actually, that's the stream server invite. But you might as well join both. I mean, they're both good. Occupy your Discord list with 300 servers run by me. It'll be cool. So I'm thinking I might have missed something outside. Luckily, it lets me go back. Which is not a guarantee. So, I need to investigate further. Exploding monkey. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> what what trajectory results in egg? Egg entering flower. How how do? <laughs> how, how do? This task is not possible. Impossible mission. It's like, what even was that? I don't even know. What's it? Oh, that's the staircase, isn't it? Nah, uh, let's just get rid of you. Oh, the chomp rock is so funny. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to do the whole mole segment again. Aren't, aren't I? Well, if I can do this jump for- no, no, the game's a little bit nicer than that. There's spooky ghost lantern man. Here to ruin my day once again.
Oh dear, I missed the flower. That's never good. Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah, baby. Heck yeah, baby. Mini game. No, wait, maybe not mini game. Is this a mini game? It is not a mini game. Duly noted. It's not in a hut. Uh, uh, what? What? What happened? No! No! I didn't want that. Uh. Game just locks you out of the last area. You missed something? That's what we say here on Yoshi's Island. So I gotta go back. I gotta go back, Marty! Harry Hedgehog stole the almanac! Marty, I've been hit in the face with a sentient cactus! So wait, you have to get this key to beat the level? How do you do this? <laughs> you just like, do, do this? Oh, you can just do that, huh? Of course, how could I have been so foolish? Anything down here? Anything down here worth getting? I don't think so, besides watermelon. Watermelon. Oh dear. I love the story that originally Baby Mario didn't cry, but everybody just ignored him, refused to pick him up. So they created the most annoying sound in the world. You want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Nope. No, no, no. Ah, oh, crap. Oh crap, Lois. This is worse than the time I lost the chomp rock. I went to pee and I left my door open and through the bathroom. You talking sounded like the bizarre incantations of a devil man. Are you absolutely positive it wasn't? Was the devil man a crybaby? Oh no! Yes. Yes. Okay, so note to self, don't go in there. Oh, okay, don't go out here either. Apparently. There it is. 
Alright, pretty good, pretty good. Might have to use my stars though. The backgrounds in this game are so gorgeous. Yeah, the sprite art has aged very well. Oh, I just got a notification. Give me that. Come on. Is there anywhere I could just get some... Uh, is this stars? Can this be stars? Yes, thank you, Jesus. Praise be unto him on this day. Now the thing is, what does this do? Like, okay, I already have everything, right? What? And it despawns if you leave, so... What does that do? You can hear an egg spitter. That is true. How peculiar. I mean, part of me wants to know, but another part of me wants to get a move on. I don't know. I might run through the level one more time just to see if I can figure out- figure that out. After this bonus challenge! Okay. Oh, you can bet. Well, let's bet 12. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, why not? Okay, so just real quick, real quick speed run through this level. Okay, you need this. I got what you need. I love how obvious it is that the hitbox for this thing is still just a square, though. Crap. You don't need to engage with most of the level, really. So, I mean, I think there's coins up there. So... I don't know, but I, I do hear an egg spitter, though. I mean, I don't know if there's a way to get up there. I sure didn't. I sure couldn't find it. Regardless, we need to move on. We cannot sit idly here and wait. I need to point- I really need to point my, like, webcam down. 
Let me. I'm trying. Let me. Let me see. That's that's the opposite of what I want. Uh, now how do I? How do I? How do I do this? Because I I kind of underestimate how much I slouch, you know. So I think this will be better. been bothering me for a little bit. Monkey's favorite lake. Oh yeah? Well, what makes this one so good? Hmm? I, I want to get up there. But can it be done? Uh, oh, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Ah, crap. Ah, crap. No, I need... I need the stilt man. I need you. There's probably nothing up there. But if I'm missing coins, I'll know where to look. Kill the monkey. Oh dear, return of the monkey trapeze. My greatest foe. Curses, their sprites are too rotated. I am powerless against them. Are there any, like, cool secret rooms? Hmm? It does not appear to be so. There is a coin up here, though. Hmm, I don't know. It's probably there to give me eggs. But I have some, so it's okay. Alright, so we'll show this then. Oh, it's Star. Okay. I can handle that. Oh dear, oh dear. No, you don't. No, you don't. There's nothing up there. And there never was. Yoshi cannot bear to watch. I like that when you when you eat them they drop the bomb anyway. Like I'm being punished for killing the enemy too fast. No, please, I can use you. Thank you. Now please drown at your earliest convenience. Thank you. Okay, that's a secret area, if ever I'd done seen one. Yep, there you go. It is time for the artillery. 
There's nothing over here. You missed some real secret opportunities there, fellers. No, 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 no. That can't be allowed. This is sort of a devious little area, isn't it? There's a red coin at the tip of the arrow that you could just miss. Uh-oh, evil collectible. Again. They took the one thing, the one thing I thought I could trust, and they turned it against me. Look at it. Look at the face of evil. <laughs> Is he still down there? No, he despawned. Wait. Did you know there was a watermelon right there? I didn't until just now. Uh-oh. Dustin has made an error. An easily corrected error, but an error nonetheless. Oh no, oh my god. Oh no, oh my god. Oh no, oh my god. What is that guy? I don't remember that guy. That's a good guy. Look at him. Look at him go. Oh, okay. He is invincible. Hello, Cornhorn. Oh. No, I'm trying to investigate you. Okay, fine. You'd rather kill yourself than talk to me? Alright. <laughs> I, I get that a lot. See? This is what he does. And that is what that does. This is by far the strangest enemy so far. No, no, no. Let me hit this checkpoint. Let me do that. Now, can I, like, get up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything over here? No. Just having a muddy little walk. Oh, here's more very unnecessary sprite rotation. <laughs> we, we. Get dunked. Get dunked. Oh no! I hate big fish. Can't say super long, but I thought I'd check out one of your streams as I see them promoted all the time in the TGC Discord. Well, I appreciate it either way. No! No, I do appreciate it. I was talking to the fish. Okay, how to- how to get down there? Oh, I see. But I don't have a key. This time I really don't have a key. Oh, okay, it's just <laughs> right there. But anyway, it's, it's good to know that the promotion there is actually, you know, doing something. Just what I needed! But yeah, whether for a short time or a long time, I appreciate when people stop by. Oh no, I don't like this guy. I wish that he'd go to hell and die. I do not like the big fish. Him going away is my only wish. I wish he'd die in monster hell. Die in monster hell. Die in monster hell. I hope that's not a good prize. Okay, well that's that's just gone. Oh crap, crap, crap! 
Crap, 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 crap. That is the crap rap. No. No, 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 no. Please go to hell and die. Now, what in the Sam heck is this about? Oh. 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 I was making it way harder than it needed to be. You know what? We got 800 watermelons. Let's let's use one. <laughs> Yoshi's mouth is filled mysteriously. Yeah, it's a one up. That that's about what I thought it would be. <laughs> you can strafe while you do this. Jeez, this this watermelon lasts a long time. No, wait, I'm missing some. I'm missing stuff. Did you mean to say that's what I thought it'd be to the music's cadence? Uh, no. What am I missing in this level here? I mean, I know what I'm missing, but where is it? <laughs> That's really funny. And I love that when they die, they make the sound effect. That is especially funny. Hmm. Investigating. It's probably not going to let me go back further than this. Oh, never mind. Okay, so I'm thinking it would either be in that room or maybe there's like a secret over here in this one. Maybe if I flutter this way. No, the camera pans down. So what could I be missing? in this horrid hellscape. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. I mean, I could probably like, do that. Come on, come over, come over here. No, wrong way, wrong way. Anything cool? The answer is no. Okay, investigation time. So yeah, main thing is, I, I think it's this room because there's the pucker men. They, they seem awfully like pointless. And you know, usually when you think something is pointless, that is actually when it is the most pointful of all. Yeah, there's just like a little pause whenever you put something in your mouth like that. So there's not an exit over there. There's nothing here. Okay, that doesn't work. <laughs> I have no idea what the purpose of that is. Anything up here? Nope. I feel like there's got to be a hidden area I didn't find. Oh. Oh no wait, this is the- this is the place from before. Still a little suspicious of this place. Because I mean, look- look over here, there's nothing. There's nothing! There's nothing, Jerry! Okay, so if I instead fall down here, uh, that that's all that happens. Okay. Hmm. There could be something down here, maybe. Uh, there's this guy in the water. Anything cool over here? 
No. Hmm. I mean, it. I really hope it's not that thing at the start of the level. Mm, just testing. Oh no. And yeah, that's that's the entrance to the secret area I was already at. No. No. Give me the baby. <laughs> no, I want to use you as. <laughs> I want to use you as a. Platform. Anything here? Nope. Okay, so there's like little dips here. Dipsy. like a little freaking flower. I mean, I can't imagine there'd be something on top of that. Not that I even know how to get over there. Okay, I'm here. I will not make a D's nuts joke with the title. It sounds like it sounds like you just did, mate. But it's it's going okay. We uh I am missing items. And I am trying to find where they might be located. It it's gonna be at the start of the freaking level. I am going to commit omnicide. All will fall in my wake. Oh, hey, cool tinnitus kicking in. Yep, there it is. Plain as day. Yep. Oh, I should have used this area to get some more eggs. I can still do this, though. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, no, stinky poo. I've got to take a do. Hello, life is peachy. I am glad that life is peachy. Ooh. Nope. Uh, every time. Every time the monkey. Every time the monkey missiles. The apes have escaped. It's really not. It's the title of a corn album. Well, I'm glad that corn. I don't know. I don't know. Oh dear, don't- do not hurt me. Please do not hurt me. Oh. Ah, uh, crud. What- what a precarious situation I have entered. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, that- that's a little too fast. No, stop! 
I wish that the one, like, freaking... <laughs> Tamagotchi would stop kicking my shit in. That would be nice. Oh my god, he killed his brother! Yeah, there's, there's not enough time to make that work. Maybe here. D yeah, picking up the egg after you've done that, that's where the problem lies. But, you know, I, I'll probably just use my item, whatever. Whatever, I can get them for basically free, who cares? Who cares? In this economy... Oh. Yes, I'm gonna need the 20. Everyone's mom from my era had to look after a Tamagotchi because we weren't allowed to have them in school. I had a Tamagotchi, like, one time. And then I learned that, like, you couldn't turn them off. I guess, you know, you're, they're supposed to be, like, a real pet. And I was just like, nah. Nah, I do not want this thing waking me up at four in the morning. That's too much responsibility for not even a real animal. Oh, here's a thing. Oh, oh, wait, this is memory, this is memory. Well, I only remembered a couple. Uh-oh. Oh, no, that's- that's right. Oh, okay, I'm- So I did remember the places. Now I'm completely flying blind. I do not remember where anything else is. How? How did I do that? How? I mean, statistically, the further you go in this game, the more likely you are to be correct. Because, you know, the possibilities dwindle. I cannot believe that I just did that. <laughs> like, I- I legitimately- like, I'm not lying to you. I legitimately only remembered the first three. And the rest was pure luck. Ooh, ooh, it's the piranha plant. Naval piranha. It's in the Navy. Oh, it's that, oh, it's this guy. Love this guy. He is my favorite guy. Never noticed that noise he made before. I'm gonna need much more egg if I am to succeed. Me pointing to my friend Dustin, this is my favorite guy. Aw, oh, thank you. Even if it is partially a meme. I have no idea how I got the stars there. Oh no, oh no, Piranha Man. Piranha. Oh, it's the- it's the Goonies! Oh, I tried to eat them, but I should have remembered that Goonies never die. Oh no, no, you're not- you're not really gonna do this to me, are you? Cool, cool, thank you. Thank you for... Okay, I'm gonna be 100% real with you guys. I'm not a huge fan of the sheer number of times this game is like, Nope, you went the wrong way. You can't... Don't... Can't go back. Can't do it. 
<laughs> that, that's probably my biggest issue with this game is just how many times how many times it locks you into a path with no warning or at least minimal warning So yeah, don't go down the waterfall. For the love of all that is good and holy, there's there's no reason to eat the goonies. Well, okay, to get them out of your hair, perhaps, but they don't give you an egg or anything. But yeah, I love love these dudes. They're funny, big funny. Protein. Yeah, I suppose Yoshi's been hitting the gym. What was in there? Oh, it's a Lakitu. Hey, bud. Now we can go down. See, like, yeah, the the running's not good enough. The jumping, you just go further down. There's nothing you can do. Oh. Oh, no. No, I'm not dealing with you guys. Screw you guys. I'm going home. Oh yeah, this is the part that tries to teach you about, uh, that, if you don't know about it already. But fun fact, I, I, as a kid, I think I still didn't get it. <laughs> you can get those coins directly, but let's use an egg. Great! Egg deposit box. Please, let me out of here. Dustin, how can you keep falling? I don't know. Roses are red, violets are blue, never forget what I say to you. Timing is all, and aim true, measure the angle, and win. Do. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really hold up to Cat in the Hat, personally, but, you know. Will you battle Naval Piranha, or will you do the cheese? I'm thinking about both. <laughs> I'm thinking both might be good. Because I really, I really would like to show it. Oh no, oh no! No, Panasonic Blu-ray! No, Panasonic Blue! Plan Panasonic Blu-ray! Panasonic Blu-ray! $99! $99! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There was no checkpoint in any of that. Oh, mom, mom of Mia. Honestly, I, I think I just find traditional Mario a little bit more fun. But that being said, I, I don't want to give the impression that I think this is a bad game or anything. Like, for, for context, I, I have complained a little about this game before, and I've said that, you know, maybe it's... I, I don't agree it's the masterpiece that everyone makes it out to be. But it's still pretty good. Like, I want everybody to understand that, that... Even, 
Like, just because I'm saying not 10 out of 10, that doesn't mean 1 out of 10, you know what I mean? It's, like, I'd say maybe, like, 8. Like, that's, that's maybe where I'd put it, I don't know. 8, 7 or 8. But there are some things that it does really, really well that I like. Like, the, gr the graphics, I think, hold up probably the best of a lot of 16-bit games. Kind of its own standalone game. Yeah, it is admittedly a little unfair to compare them. But then again, I wasn't the one who named the game Super Mario World 2. Yeah, exactly. Okay, now the other side. Work the other work the other piranha. <laughs> Three. Wonderful. <laughs> Don't even bother aiming. Aiming is for weaklings. Also, excuse me. Sorry, I had a burp. It's a little uncouth, I realize, but these things happen. Oh, uh. bum 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 bum. Oh uh, no! Get back here! You infant pain in my anus! Okay, so there are many ways one can go from here. I have a feeling that this might be- no, never mind. I was gonna say this might be the way to progress, but... It is clearly not. Now that I have gotten there. This is a weird thought, but it, it kind of just occurred to me. It, it sort of sucks that they'll never really do a sequel to Doki Doki Panic Mario 2. I think that would be a lot of fun. The closest thing we have is Captain Toad. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you for the follow. Ah, <laughs> oh, he has a snorkel. See, like that. That is one of my favorite parts of this game, is just stuff like the Lakitu's having a snorkel. Ignore the fact that the water is like half a foot deep. See, I don't know. Is this the way to progress? I cannot tell. <laughs> and I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be a big deal if I didn't think I'd get locked into it. Okay, that was an interaction. No, I think this is progress. You know, when in doubt, usually assume the right is the way forward. You know, they make Shantae. Okay, let's try this instead. Just see, just see where it gets us. I've reduced him to a lump. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, okay. Cool. I was about to say, I'm really over here with no eggs. Oh, oh no. Um, we do not need to murder this man. I think it would be quite unnecessary.
Ooh, okay. Those things kind of like suck you in, so I'm always a little anxious around them. Because you, you wouldn't think that would be how they work, but it is. It is, believe you me. But yeah, the face he makes is pretty hilarious. Oh dear, oh dear. Come on! Come on! Good thing that this man is an egg generator. Or rather, a shy guy generator. I am an egg generator. Be aware of your role, your place in life. There we go. Okay, this this could be a problem. Witness the problem. Oh wait. This guy this guy you can just hit through the platform. <laughs> Okay, so we just need stars, mostly. And the checkpoint that is almost certainly up here. Well, wait, is there a checkpoint? I thought there'd be a checkpoint. Maybe there's one down here. Okay, so let's see. Nope. No, can I cheese? Ah, oh, come on. You have got to be kidding me. I'm gonna have to do it again because the, the game did not want to give me any stars at the end and would not let me bring my own. So I have to do it before I go in the door. Greet! The game audio is doubled for some reason. Oh no. It's been like that the whole time. Yeah, I had I had two audio sources. Freaking heck. Well, crud. That puts a damper on the whole thing. It wasn't, like, super loud or anything, was it? I mean, that much I can fix in, fix in post if I have to. But I prefer to not have to. Well, thanks for letting me know anyway. I really ought to- I really ought to check my audio every single time, even if I'm not changing... Uh, the volume. But yeah, I'll, I'll check it after I'm done, and if I need to lower it, then... so be it. Completing Yoshi's Island can be a pain sometimes, especially with the one ways. Yeah, definitely. I do think it did gradually get worse, so if I recall correctly from the start, it wasn't as obvious. Yeah, it probably desynced a little bit.
That's how these things tend to go. Okay, no, gotta aim better than that. I think I've only done one save state on NSO for the hidden mini games because I'm not putting in a code for a hidden menu every time. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'll have to show that off before I stop playing this game. Like before the playthrough is done, I mean to say. I totally forgot about the hidden mini game menu. Crud, crud, poopy, stinky. I want that. There we go. So yeah, make sure to use the star item before you go in the door. No, 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 no. I recommend inviting a friend if you ever stream it on NSO. Does it have like, does it have like actual multiplayer? Because if it does, I, I forgot about that too. But I figured it was just like you could play them at any time. I didn't think there was like multiplayer. NSO is online multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, I know about that. I mean like Yoshi's Island. Like does Yoshi's Island, the mini games, have any... Oh, hey, Cover. Hello, Cover and friends. The hidden mini games have multiplayer if you plug in a second controller. Well, today I learned. Today I learned. Reminds me of how, like, Mega Man 7 has a hidden multiplayer mode that isn't advertised anywhere. I mean, heck, Super Punch Out has one. What is it with Super NES games? and having, like, really obscure, hidden multiplayer. Mega Man 7 has what? Yeah, uh, I think it's on the, uh, cutting room floor page. But there's, like, a really well-hidden multiplayer game where one player plays as Mega Man and the other is base. And I think it's sort of like a deathmatch kind of thing. I, I don't think I knew about it until recently, but yeah, it's... And yeah, like I said, Super Punch-Out, it was recently discovered, has a hidden multiplayer. So yeah, it's something about Super NES, they just put really obscure multiplayer modes. It's funny, because you'd think that they would put that on, like, the back of the box or something. Usually that's a big selling point, or at least it became one. But hey, you know, if... Maybe they just didn't think, uh... Maybe they just didn't think that it was, like, good enough. Like, they tried it out and they were like, eh, we're not really satisfied with this. We'll leave it in, but we are, we're not gonna, like, advertise it. Oh yeah, about the Sonic 3D Blast level select. Uh, there's a safer way to get that, I will say. But, apparently, according to John Burton, who worked on the game, that was... <sighs> that was a failsafe. Basically, if the game had any crashes in it, Sega would send it back and tell you to fix them. So, in a way, sort of getting around... Sort of getting around that verification step, they made it to where... I'm sorry, my brain's trying to work. They made it to where, instead of crashing, it simply loads up the level select screen. So therefore, if Sega encountered a crash at any point, it would just be like, Oh, you found the secret level select. You found a secret bonus point.
Okay, so... Now, I'll be honest. I want to fight Naval Piranha normally, but... I also kinda don't wanna... You know what, I'll do it. I'll do it, but... You know... But I feel like I'm gonna regret it. <laughs> Wow, how did I get this, like, first try without even attempting? But yeah, here we go. This is what normally happens. Give it up, Yoshi, you cutie without a navel. Oop, forget it. What? What does that mean? <laughs> and then they release Sonic 3 with tons of bugs. No? Those were Robotnik's diabolical speed traps. But yeah, this is probably one of my favorite bosses, at least due to just the way it looks. And yeah, it's called Naval because it has a belly button. Which is a weird thing for a plant to have, but... Okay, and then it goes to like headbutt you. And then you do that. Oh, nope. Nope. I made a problem. How goes Joshy? Well, I had an audio problem for the first hour and a half and didn't realize. Oh, he faked me out. Uh, I need egg. Can you provide? Thank you! Okay, they have to land before you can get egg from them. The head being just a scaled up normal piranha head is just a real NES SMB3 moment. Oh, I'm glad somebody noticed that besides me. Because that always bugged me, like the chess in Mario 3. <sighs> okay, this boss actually isn't particularly difficult. You should try the GBA exclusive levels. I thought about it, I might do that. You know, when, once we're done with the SNES version, I, I'm considering doing that. But I also know they're a little bit CBT. Crap. Crap. Oh, there we go. Jennifer CBT. I say that because Wait. <laughs> I say that because the it's hard. Oh, that doesn't help at all, does it? <laughs> it's, the levels are extremely difficult. I do like the art style in this game a lot, though. Yeah, for the most part, the sprites are good. Rip plant. Now he'll never get in Smash. Oh dang, that that would be a cool like alternate idea. For a Piranha Plant's final smash is Naval Piranha. Though I understand why they went with Petey. You know, they wanted to probably repurpose the subspace emissary stuff. Now what is this? Oh yeah, it's this one. Okay. Just pick one square, get an item. Yeah, I, I would have liked Waluigi in Smash, but... I mean, truth be told... I've, I've already voiced my apathy... ...on a lot of the <laughs> Smash DLC choices. Oh, it's Cooper. And Goomber. Wow, it's looking like a real Mario game. Naval Piranha got his chance to shine in Tetris Attack. Well, there's also another game, but I'm not gonna spoil that.
The fact that the Goomba debuts in World 4 of this is hilarious to me. You too, huh? Yeah, I always thought that was super weird. Though honestly, that's pretty true to the original Super Mario World 2. I mean, the original Super Mario World as well. This is the original Super Mario World 2. So yeah, it's all about Cooper Shell. I'd say the first party choices are at worst Byleth and Zelda, the projectile, and at best, Pithra. I mean, my favorites were Banjo and Steve Minecraft. Those are my two favorites. You can- you can get a Goomber. Oh. Rip. They should have put Tony Tetris in the game. Put- put the old Explorer Man from, uh, Tetris Plus in there. I think that would be funny. But yeah, I don't know. It- it- it was very JRPG heavy. That- that's my stance on it. Is that if you- if you like JRPGs, and I mean, I do to some extent, then, you know, you'll be happy. If you don't like those, however, then, uh, I hope you like Banjo. <laughs> I like Terry. Yeah, Terry's cool enough. He's- he's a- he's a weird pick, but, you know, I'm cool with it. Like, <laughs> Sakurai really likes old-school fighting games. I understand. RPGs and fisticuff games. Yeah, that was- that was the bulk of the- <laughs> of the DLC. And, I mean, I- I won't lie to you, I think maybe they could have done a bit better about variety. I mean, of course, I say that as the squeaky wheel. So many people mad at Min Min was something. Yeah, I- I mean, I didn't mind Min Min. You know, I kind of expected an ARMS would get in. But yeah, I don't know. I was just kind of... ...whelmed by a lot of it. But then again, I'm also the guy who wants the dude from that obscure NES game to get in. So, maybe what I say doesn't matter all that much. Is ARMS even good? I've never played it. I like I liked it. it. It didn't hold my attention for like a super duper pooper scooper long time. But, you know, when I played it, I enjoyed it. Oh. Like, you just- you literally shatter this man. You shatter his hopes and dreams, and him, for good measure. I'd shit myself laughing if the next- next Smash they see- they tease a character from a late-era NES RPG that wasn't released in a prominent reason and- region, and it's Nintendo. Yeah, I mean... I- I wouldn't mind Nintendo as maybe like a NES Echo. Though they'd have to use like one of those divergent designs because let's be real, in-game he looks like NES. Though honestly, I- I still say that if they have another mother character, I think I'd want it to be Porky. Because one, villains, and two, because, you know, he's a non-PSI user. Smash has established that they don't care what came out in America. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to be, like... I don't want to be bitter or anything. But, like... The fact is, if a game did not get released in Japan... It's not- it's not getting anything in Smash Brothers. Like, at all. OH NO, THEY'RE BACK! Like... Like you, like, you want, uh, Star Tropics, Gumshoe, uh, like, Kid Icarus of Myths and Monsters? Uh, nope. Go to hell, please die, thank you. Watch as their next RPG rep is Paper Mario, but it's mostly based on the newer games. One Fear. 
Yeah, that's what I'm afraid they do. I, I feel like Sakurai would probably have, like, you know, a decent amount of references to the old stuff. That Yeah, Star Tropics is very Japanese. It just did not get released in Japan. I think I think they mostly made it just the, you know, like because the NES was a couple years late over here. Are you not going to acknowledge that the bug nearly killed you? No. But yeah, zero zero would be. No oh hey, look, it's the uh, lady with panties. <laughs> the naked woman, orange naked lady. But yeah, I'd like- I wouldn't mind Zero. I- I think- I think the best thing you could probably do with Zero is make him sort of an amalgamation of, uh, Mega Man X Zero and Mega Man Zero Zero, which is a very redundant way to say that. But yeah, just like, make him both, and then you sort of have the, uh, alternate costume. So you can, like, pick and choose which one you prefer. That- that's my stance on the matter. I did not need to do that. Ah, oh, crap. Is there anything back here? No. Honestly, I like Mega Man Zero. Like, I think it's good. Though, I'm definitely more of an X-Man. Which does not mean that I'm a mutant. I'm sorry to disappoint. Their body types are so different. Yeah, like, they don't even- like, it, they barely look like the same character, to be honest with you. That always kind of bothered me. Oh wait, I'm missing six coins. Imagine we get more representation for Sonic and Pac-Man, both feel poorly represented. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, no. Like, I understand why they did it, but... Uh, but Pac-Man is sort of like more Namco man than anything. Like, I was talking to my friend Cruz Elroy about this at one point. Yeah, there's- we got a gnat problem in here right now. The gnats have come to seek their horrible vengeance on me. I have massacred thousands of their people. Yeah, it's- it's just kind of like, you know, I wouldn't- I wouldn't have minded some Pac-Man World content, I'll be real with you. Is there anything here that I didn't- no, I think I'm- I think I'm out of luck. I'm just here lurking while I draw. Yeah, that's all right. That's fair. You know, do do whatever pleases you. Honestly, at this point, he doesn't necessarily need to... Like, I don't need him to be, like, just super Pac-Man. Here's, here's what you could probably do, right? Um, make, like, his down aerial and make his down aerial like the butt bounce, uh, throw in a couple Pac-Man World songs because the music's really good and I like it. And, you know, I'm satisfied with that. Yeah, the, the stink bugs aren't very... they're not very aggressive or get in your face or anything. They, they just kind of hang out. I gotta try this again because I missed... Dine mist. Pack attack too. Yeah, I mean honestly, music variety is a whole nother issue. Because like, did you know that there's like only one Wario Land song in the whole thing? I I keep mentioning that because it just it it takes me it takes me aback like every single time to think like there's like. Five to seven Wario Land games, and one song from any of them. Like, how? Also, hello, Kickstarter. 
Like, how do you not put Wario Land music in there? I mean, I would like a Wario Land stage. You know, maybe more like moveset representation, but how is there not even... How is there only one song? Oh god, I am... I am... I am not paying as much attention as I probably should be. Oh, yep, here it is. It, at least it's his victory theme. That is true, and they did bring back the, uh... Oh wait, this is the weird tall shy guy. Oh, yep. There's a bandit. Bandit. But yeah, they also brought back Wario's shoulder barge, which I appreciate. I think Smash 4 got, got, got rid of it, but Ultimate brought it back, and I appreciate that. Also, yeah, Wario, they, they put way too much emphasis on Wario farting in recent years. Which, I mean, granted, I'm not saying Wario should not... <laughs> the Shy Guy's on my back, I never, I didn't realize that. I'm not saying that Wario should not ever fart, but it, it's become too big a percentage of his character. We need to dial it back. I always think, like, the, the, the thing I always think about... The, the thing I always think about is the one interview where Miyamoto is talking about, like, the playable characters in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and he comments that they didn't make Wario playable because he would have to fart. <laughs> and I don't know. I know he's kidding. Like, don't get me wrong. Like... <laughs> Miyamoto's having a funny, but it, it still kind of stuck with me. When did Wario ever even fart in his own games? Mostly WarioWare. Like, Wario Land, it's surprisingly rare. If it happens at all. Like, Wario where Twisted, I think, has a minigame where you have to, like... You have to, like, wave a fart away so a kid can breathe, and then, you know, Wario did it, he's like, oh... You know, he actually has a face that looks like, oh, <laughs> my bad, <laughs> which is kind of funny, but... But yeah, I mean, like I said, it happens, but it's not... Not, it's, called, it's mostly a Smash Brothers thing, if you really think about it. <laughs> what if video games were short? That was a Smooth Moves micro game. I, I think it showed up more than once. Like, I think that's the concept of more than one micro game. Sakurai wanted to add a fart character and Wario was the closest thing he could think of. <laughs> I mean... Honestly, Wario's moveset in general is kind of, uh... Kind of just feels like they pulled it out of nowhere. Because, you know, you you think about it, you're like, okay, there's only one Wario Land. <laughs> only one Wario Land reference. But when you think about it, there's not even that much Wario wear in his moveset. I mean, there's more, but it's still not that much. You got, like... You got, like, uh, the bike, and you have his final smash, but that's about it. <laughs> you don't really... Like, can you imagine if Wario used objects from the micro games or something? That would be pretty cool. Like, he pulls out the, the finger that picks the nose. A uh, kid named Finger. <laughs> And he just slaps the other characters with that. We need a new Wario Land that includes stuff from Virtual Boy Wario Land. Agreed. Virtual Boy Wario Land is... Awesome. And by the way, I did stream it and nobody watched it when I did. So if you... <laughs> if you want to see that, uh, that's on my YouTube channel. Go back and watch that, please. Please. Please, I bought a whole Virtual Boy mod for that. <laughs> Wario throwing Fronk would make me laugh so hard. 
Yeah, like... Honestly, we need two more Wario characters in the game. Since, okay, since Sakurai seems to be completely averse to, like, changing movesets after they've been established, we need, uh, like, a, a Wario Land character. We need, like, Captain Syrup, and we need a WarioWare character, like, uh, say... Like, I don't know, everybody says 9-Volt, but the thing is, if 9-Volt gets in the game, he's basically guaranteed- Yeah, Jimmy T would be a good one. 9-Volt gets in the game, though, he's basically- No! 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 I have to die. I have to die. But yeah, if 9-Volt gets in the game, he's basically guaranteed to be, like, NES references. Which, granted, would be cool, but is not the thing I'm trying to achieve here. Could have bounced on the flutter wi flutter wigglers, maybe. Orbulon would be fun. Yeah, Orbulon would be fun too. Like there's there's just anyone but Ashley, basically. <laughs> I was more of a DKC fan. Yeah, honestly, I I hope to play Donkey Kong Country soon. That's been on my list for a while. But yeah, put- put Captain Syrup and Jimmy T in the game. That would be perfect. Jimmy T attacks with, like, references to the micro games. And Captain Syrup has, like, Wario Land references. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Okay. No! I had that. I had it. Yeah, no, 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 Ashley, please. I do not want to... I want- do not- do not want to gratify the, the Ashley fans, please. <laughs> Wario I get, but like Waluigi, they couldn't think of a better name. <laughs> Honestly, I think Waluigi is a hilarious name. Like, it- it just- it kind of feels like, you know, half-assed, but also, apparently somebody figured out that in Japan, it's pronounced waru Eji, which means bad person. And I- I think that's- I think that's funny. I don't know. I was- I was never on board with the Waluigi hate. It works in, as a pun in Japan, but not in, not in English. Has anyone ever tried Paper Mario 3D Land? Yeah, I've, I've talked to the guy who's made it. I mean, we're not, like, in touch anymore, but... I did- there was a point where I spoke personally with the guy who made that game. Did I mean to do that? Nope. That d did not want. Yeah, I mean... Okay, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be totally real with you. There is literally no good reason that... why they could not put Waluigi in WarioWare. I think... like... I'm pretty sure I either was always liked or always was neutral on Waluigi. But, you know, as far as Waluigi and Smash, you know, I was kind of like, meh. But wait. Wait, wait, no! Oh, wait, is that just a one-up? I don't know. I kind of want to be sure, though. I get the feeling Wal Wal Waluigi was primarily made to give Wario a partner in the Mario spin-off titles and wasn't even meant to be a part of Wario Land, let alone WarioWare. Oh, I know, I know. I know that, like... They had... They had no intention of all- at all of putting him in the actual games, but I'm saying... Now that they have... You degenerate fools. Now that they have Waluigi, 
I think they should put him in. You know, just, you know, when, when life gives you lemons. When life gives you Waluigi. Make waluigi aid. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, it's just a one-up, though. It's just for a one-up. Nope. Denied. Crap, I was unable to deny him. I refuse to drink anything called waluigi aid. <laughs> But why? It's made with real Waluigi! <laughs> and I mean, they even gave Waluigi a trademark favorite food like everybody else. Like the Mario Brothers get mushrooms, Wario gets garlic, and Waluigi gets eggplants. It's... Also, here's a POW block. Like, like, POW, POW blocks. Why did they bring back the POW block? I should have used that POW block instead of manually killing all of them. I apologize for this transgression. But yeah, this game- this game was just like... Hey, what's the weirdest thing from like... 10 years ago? Oh, I was supposed to lick him into the hole? I mean, yeah, that's- that's what my girlfriend says too, but... That's a joke, I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> Wario only ate garlic to intimidate vampires. <laughs> I'd buy it. Though, I mean, when you think about it, though, Wario has become a vampire. Oh, crap. Like, Wario has been a vampire. Oh, uh, okay, there we go. So the thing is, vampire who likes garlic. It's no wonder Wario's invincible. There's a lot going on here. Oh, okay. So that was, that was what was up there. No, give me that. I need that. Wait, what is this? What is this image that you just posted in my chat? You're supposed to preview that, Franker face. Oh yeah, that's the picture of Wario with Satan. Here, I'll, I'll show that on the stream for future... ...for future generations so they'll know what we're talking about. You know, I haven't tried drag and dropping onto here in a while. I should probably do that, because that would be way easier if that worked. Okay, loading. Loading. There you go. Yeah, so... <laughs> Wario, Satan, there's like... Chucky. Jason. Looks like Sephiroth with a third eye. Actually, you know, while we're at it, and so I can, so I can test this. Let's see if this works. Okay, no, it's, it's not letting me drag and drop on here. Can I copy and paste image though? No? Dang, that would be so commit- that's one thing that OBS is not good at, that XSplit can do, I think. Is, you can't just drag and drop an image in there. But, you know, while we're at it, since, since I was gonna show it to you, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen this image. But I'd like to show it anyway.
That's official, by the way. Down the waterfall. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, yep, it's saying... Wait. Oh, the magnifying glass shows you where the red coins are. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, there it is. How many are in here? At least five. Waluigi <laughs> gets to live in a cardboard box behind the gas station. Okay, so I know what this is. But that means I don't get the cloud anymore, I don't think. Yeah, it does not come back. You get one shot, do not miss your chance to blow. I can tell which ones are red anyway, they have a red tinge to them if you look closely. Oh yeah, I know, I just wanted to make absolutely sure. And also just show the item off, because I'm not using these items like I probably should be. Oh, oh. Okay, I don't know what that was. So I need to do this and get that. There we go. And there's a minigame hut right over here. Okay, yeah, this one again. Time to employ my strategy. Oh, so it just- oh, it just stays in effect for the whole level. I was not aware of that. I never cared for Super Mario 64. I'm not gonna hate you, but I vehemently disagree. Like, the hardest disagree I can possibly muster. Possibly mustard. Super Mario 64 is my freaking jam. And maybe even my jelly too. Okay, now what is what is the deal with this? What am I looking at here? What in the name of, of God is this? <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait. No? What is going on here? Was I supposed to use the was I supposed to use the Lakitu for something? Flutter jump, maybe? I mean, it works. I replay Mario 64 pretty regularly. Yeah, like I said, me, me too. 64 DS has better controls than the original. Oh. <laughs> Now that's a hot take. Get, get out of here! Nat's trying to enter my nose and control my brain. That being said, if you play 64DS, 
<laughs> if you play 64 DS with the mod that gives you analog controls, then that is the bee's knees. But yeah, the the controls not so great in my opinion. <laughs> Because it's a game designed to show off how the analog stick works, and it does not have an analog stick. You either get digital controls on a D-pad, or you gotta use a, the touch screen. And Nintendo's just like, oh, use the little thumb! Use the little thumb thing, the little thumb cloth! And it's like, nobody's gonna do that. Nobody in the history of the <laughs> Nobody in the history of the world has ever used the thumb thing. It has not been done. I don't hate Super Mario 64 DS controls like a lot of people, but it certainly is not nearly as good as an analog thing. I mean, it's workable, you know? It's... I guess I'm just mad because it's a problem I feel like should not have existed in the first place. Just give the DS a little analog nub. Don't look back. Oh, this level. Yeah. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Balloon. Balloony. Isaac over here saying I should reenact Jerry's game. Also, speaking of analog controls, how come Nintendo had analog triggers? Like, before a lot of other people did? And then they were just like, nah, we're not gonna do that anymore. <laughs> Well, that world, that was fun. We're never doing that again. I mean, though, Sega had it before even them, I think. Like, I'm pretty sure the 3D Saturn controller had it. I mean, I don't know, it's been a while since I checked. But I know Dreamcast did, though. Which beat the GameCube to the market by a little while. I have no faith that modern Nintendo would do anything that people would like. I mean... You know, I mean, they made Metroid Dread at least, I'll give them that. I at least got to play Metroid Dread. And it was quite based, I must say. There's a bug in my face. I do not like gnats and I wish that they would die. If a gnat hits me again, I'll cry. <laughs> They don't listen to fans a lot, but when they do, you have to savor it. Wait, what is that over there? How do I get over there? Marty, I'm scared. Oh no, oh no, no, no! Well, good thing I just got a checkpoint. Metroid cringe. You're cringe! Is that your fucking Metroid Sona? That's cringe. Yeah, okay, there's no way to get over this. Can I kill you? Can you die? 
If I take that off, will you die? Did you not see the Kappas? Yeah, I did. But I still called you cringe. Switch era Nintendo ended up making a lot of things that I dreamed about all my life and somehow made them in the most dull way possible. I'm interested in hearing what you have in mind specifically. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Oh. Well, that didn't work out. Wait, wait, no, I can still make this work. I can still do the- DANG IT! Curse is foiled again. The Mario Sports games. Yeah, it's a shame about that. No, 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 no! That's mostly what I had in mind. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Mario sports games have been kind of lacking lately. I mean, granted, I was never a huge Mario sports fan. I was always kind of neutral. But even, even I'm just like, the amount of content here is kind of sad. No, 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 no. Yes, okay. Baby Mario can die a little bit, as long as I get my red coin. It took me a minute to realize you were- No! To realize you were talking about Minecraft story mode, and not like a new McDonald's <laughs> visual novel. The worst thing, though, is they make, like... They make, like, one of the coolest Mario parties in recent memory. And then they're just like, yeah, here's five boards. Go screw yourself. Like, Nintendo, at this point, I will pay for boards for Mario Party Superstars. Just, just make them. For God's sake, please. I'm trying to give you money. I am trying my damnedest to give you money. There is a $20, a, tw a $20 in my pocket that I'm willing to give you. And all you gotta do is add a couple more boards to superstars. Oh, I thought he had a red coin, and I was very afraid for a moment. No, 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 no. I also didn't play a lot of Superstars because no one I knew bought it. <laughs> it was kind of the, the WarioWare DIY dilemma. I mean, I did play a lot of WarioWare DIY. Please tell me this is not the path forward. This is the path forward, isn't it? This be it better not be. This better be a side path. Oh, I love this balloon, though. We No, that's not true. This is the Super Nintendo. <laughs> this is like a very Paper Mario moment. I was just too shy to ask to play with you, to be honest. I understand. Yep, this is the path. Oh, wait, 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 there's a path down. Yes! This is all you have to do, Yoshi's Island. This is literally all I wanted from you. Okay, there's some weird one-up balloons. No, no, want that. I'm missing one coin, which is just uh, beauteous.
You love when you miss one coin. I'm guessing... Is that it right there? No, can't be. Oh crap, did I despawn the crate? Did I despawn the freaking crate? Great! There's no- there is no switch. Okay, I was complimenting this game. Clearly, <laughs> my compliments were undeserved. But yes, Greeny Stash, I, I do think <laughs> that Nintendo has uh, ruined Paper Mario in almost every conceivable way. Thank you for bringing it up. But yeah, I, I hope to do a Paper Mario 64 playthrough this year, and I'm gonna try not to... <laughs> I'm gonna try not to talk about the new games too much, because, you know, I want to be positive. In instead of, like, bringing the new games down, let's build Paper Mario 64 up. You know, what do you say? You know what, we'll, we'll do this castle. You know, I, I missed something here, but we'll do this castle first, and we'll do this- we'll do that next time. Marching Mild's Fort. Or is it Milde? Mildew. Oh, did you did you miss these guys? Oh. <laughs> you can nullify their effects. Oh, oh, that guy. There's a dude behind me. Oh, yep, there he is. There he is. <laughs> Serves you right. I like that this is a castle. I felt like for a long time people just talked about Thousand Year Door, but more people been like, oh yeah, the 64 game is also good. Yeah, though I feel like it's also turned into a bit of a pushback, like... They- they behave as if two legends cannot coexist. Or rather, three legends, because... I also think- oh, this is this one. I also think Super Paper Mario is quite good, even- Like, okay, gameplay-wise, there's a little bit... You know, maybe a little bit to be desired from Super Paper Mario, but... Everything else is just so good that I- I still gotta love it. Like, it's just, it's- Super has just got so much spunk that you can't hate it. Paper Mario Multiverse of Madness. The only Paper Mario anything I've played is Mario & Luigi Paper Jam. RIP. Honestly, I, I don't hate Paper Jam as much as some people, but I definitely... I look at it and I see missed potential, you know? I look at it and I, I see visions of what it could have been, could have be. It's almost the antithesis to the later games. Or is it anti-thesis? That's another word that I've never actually said out loud until now. But yeah, like, there's just so much you could have done with m the two Mario RPGs collide, and they're just like, King bob best we can do. <laughs> I think the one saving grace is that it's still a Mario and Luigi game. And Mario... Okay. And... Oh, Antithesis. Okay. I probably should have guessed that. Well, now I know. 
But yeah, it's just there's so much that they could have done with that concept. And that's just, that's it. That's all they did. So I can't help but be a little sad when I play that game, but it's like, it's Mario and Luigi. So it's still ultimately fun. Ow. <laughs> it's still ultimately a fun game, but... Like, I don't know, they could have had... They could have had, like, the partners from the old game show up or something. I... That was the only checkpoint in the whole stage. You know, they... Like, you could have had, uh, Popple and Miss Mouse, like, get into an altercation or something. Like, come on. The, there's so many... <laughs> there's so many little ideas you could do. And you did nothing! You did nothing! Good day, sir! Dustin, that would require taking a risk with Nintendo's most profitable franchise. Yeah, and that's what- that's kind of what irks me about Mario these days. You know, it's, it's a total grab bag. It's like... Are you gonna get a game like Odyssey, which is bursting with, from the seams? Bursting at the seams with, like, interesting stuff? Or are you gonna get, a uh, super sanitized Mario game number 390? Where we have- we have scientifically... ...determined what Mario looks like. And he will only look like this from now on. No variation allowed. What? You put a- you gave a toad a pompadour? No! No? Oh, that's right, you can just, like, spit this. You bring any original characters? No. <laughs> that's a scarily good Hotel Mario impression. Yeah, I, I've been told I'm weirdly good at just, like, random, isolated, unofficial Mario voice... Well, not unofficial, because I've also been told I do, uh... <laughs> Doe I missed rather well. You're like, Doe I missed. Granted, that was years ago now. Maybe I've lost my touch. If it was just a bit higher, mm, I'll, I'll take 80% accuracy. You do it a semitone too low. Right, right. It, it's, it's hard to figure it out. Where, where exactly you want it to be. Oh, so I don't know if I've ever told the story on the stream, but there was this whole... There was this whole, like... Thing that Isaac and I went on, like this whole... Journey involving that Wario voice clip. Uh, the too long didn't read of it is that, like, the guy, like, there's a guy in YouTube comments that claims to be the voice actor who says it's so I missed, right? The thing is, though, he provides no citation. Charles Martinet, on the other hand, claims that it is do I missed. And see, here's the thing. The voice actor for Wario, like, apparently, Martinet and Wario, uh, Martinet and Wario, Martinet and Charles, like, Charles, I, I can't talk, I told you I can't talk, Thomas Spindler, sort of traded the role off a bit back in the Nintendo 64 days. From what I understand. And Thomas Spindler is not, like, credited In, in at least one of them. I forget if it was Mario Party or if it was, uh... If it was, like, Mario Kart or something, but it's, like, it's really weird and inconsistent. Mario Kart 64. Oh, yeah, that's how we found out that Charles Martinet actually kind of might have done the role a couple times in the Nintendo 64 era. 
it was because uh, Thomas Spindler was not credited in Mario Kart. Now, he could just be uncredited. You know, that's... It's not like that's never been known to happen. Truth be told, I, I can see arguments in favor of both. Because Wario very definitely has a German accent in his early appearances. So him saying, like, what crap in German does make some degree of sense. However, it also makes sense for him to say, do I missed? Because Mario Party and a lot of, you know, J Japanese games in general, like to refer to failure states as misses. And wouldn't you know it, Mario Party does that. You know, you'll you'll remember, possibly, that the narrator, when you fail, says, Mies! So, it's entirely possible- Sniff it! Sniff it! It's entirely possible that Wario is saying that he missed. Also, welcome to Arkanoid. And yeah, that's that's what's so fascinating about it. Like honestly, I like I used to jokingly give Isaac a lot of crap about thinking it was so I missed, but truthfully, I would I would be cool with either. Like I think either would be a satisfactory answer. I just I kind of want to know though. But uh, we the trail sort of ran dry. We were unable to find anyone we could ask about this. Because, like, okay, you do think Charles Martinet we could trust, right? But, yeah, as Isaac said, he gave a claim about a Mario 64 line in the past that is very definitely not actually true. Charles Martinet claims that the line when you throw Bowser in Mario 64 is so long, Kinga Bowser. But the thing is, there's just not enough syllables for that to be the case. Mario clearly goes like, dun 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 dun. You know, which only has enough room for so long, Bowser. It's possible that he recorded King, but that isn't what made it into the final game. Like, they might have cut it down. And it, you know, it's also just been a while, I'm sure. But yeah, it, 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 it can't be Kinga. It, it's just not, it's not. NOT SCIENTIFICALLY POSSIBLE! And yeah, he could have recorded pre-recorded, like, unused lines in Mario Party, too. That- that's the thing, there are so many layers to this. Like, it's- it's kind of wild. Like, and I do wish we could get a definitive answer, but we probably never will. So I guess just, honestly, say whichever one you like. Just love each other, for God's sake. Remember when Yoshi was playable in a 3D platformer? You mean, like, him himself, or...? I like that Enter the Florpus has spawned so many memes. Honestly, Enter the Florpus was crazy because... It really felt like one of those things displaced in time, you know? Like, it, it... Besides the art style being a little different, it it literally just felt like... Oh yeah, Invader Zim's still going, it never ended. <laughs> it's it's still here. Did I get it? Did I, did I get the key out of this room? I know I have a key. Yeah, I must have. I used it on the door, right? Enter the Florpus feels like the Zim movie that would have come out in 2003. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like I said, it, it feels displaced in time, but, you know, in a good way, I think. You know, it's... it's... It's kind of nostalgic.
<laughs> Richard Horvitz shouting, Pussy! What is this pussy? And Zim's voice at a convention makes me laugh too hard. Yeah, Rich Richard Horvitz has done like a few funny things like that. I I also love the one where he's talking with, um... God, his name isn't coming to me right now. Uh... I should know his name. But, you know, the, the Animaniacs, dude. Rob Paulson, Rob Paulson. Uh... Like, I, I really liked when he's talking with Rob Paulson. And they just talk about going to hell. What is this hell? Wait, how do we go to hell? I think we're already there. <laughs> you can't be a normal looking person who sounds like Daggett. Oh, oh, more fancy sprites. Look at my fran fancy sprite work. It's French. We imported it. Look, Mr. Squidward. Money. Okay, now I think they want me to do that. <laughs> Yoshi Island really is the look how cool the Super FX chip is game. Yeah, I've been saying that the whole time. Oh god, not... Not 800 doors, why must you do this to me? Many doors, yes. It boy. Oh, there's a key. Is this death? Is this death below me? Death below her? <laughs> Do these doors, like, literally- do these doors literally lead to the same place? I need to know. Okay, maybe I don't need to know. I don't know, but I'm missing a coin. <laughs> the you want an m and &M bit with, uh, Rob Paulson and Clancy Brown. Yeah, that's a good bit. I enjoyed that bit. I'm pretty sure that's a bit from The Office. Like, the dentist named Crentist. I'm stuffed! <laughs> you want an m, &M? <laughs> Yep, they lead to the same exact place. Why is this a thing? Why are there two doors to the same place? Yoshi's Island, why? Please let this last coin be in here. I am- I am so afraid because the game's gonna lock me into a door. Oh wait, here. Here we go. There we go! Mr. Lawrence doing the swear-laden chum bucket speech. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm juvenile. But... <laughs> Spongebob characters cursing like sailors, like actually cursing. Well, okay, fake cursing too. But that's that's the funniest thing in the world to me. I mean, technically, apparently it was real cursing and they overlaid the sound effects over it. I really, like, I know I never will, because Nickelodeon will never, well, don't say never, but I'm unlikely to. But I really want to hear the cut. <laughs> Yoshi, oh dear, where the marching middle will pound you to beats. 
And then that also just he said, she said, uh. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Okay, someone else said they really weren't. Oh, asteroid. Asteroid. It's the so I miss thing, but for SpongeBob. <laughs> it might have been Tom Kenny on two different occasions. That that wouldn't be that surprising, because apparently he did that with the Sponge Boy mop. Which did not actually exist. Oh uh, no, no! Ah, uh, crap, crapola. Well, you're gonna get to hear more of it. <laughs> Here, let's dance. No, no, Isaac, I gotta, I gotta checkpoint. See? All good. Baby Mario cries faster the closer to one he is. Nice attention to detail. Yeah, like I said, that's probably my favorite part of this game is the attention to detail. That's... Like, if you asked me to pick out, like, my one favorite thing about Yoshi's Island, it's just one of those games that's bursting with little touches. And, you know, that... that makes... That really can make a game for me sometimes. I, that's part- I think that's part of the reason I love Sonic Adventure 1 so much. There's just so much to learn about it. Okay, that doesn't work. I have to eat him. <laughs> the best frame to end on. <laughs> I need to put that frame in the thumbnail. Yeah, yeah, like what, what Isaac's saying over there. The NPCs all have like, well, maybe not all, but so many of them. Have like these unique plots that you never need to engage with. They are not impor important to the main story. But like you got a mom with a gambling addiction, you got like... Somebody two-timing on his girlfriend, you have like the girl trying to work up the courage to ask out the burger guy. There's so much of that. And it's completely pointless. It's just there for flavor. And I, I love it. And there's also a dandelion. And you could see the spit come out of my mouth when I said dandelion. There's a dandelion in, like... Windy Valley? Yeah, Windy Valley. Uh, for some reason I want to call it Windy Hill, but that's the, uh... Sonic Lost World level. But yeah. Yeah, there's a dandelion. And, like, basically, like, little particles will fly out of it. But if you run through it... A bunch of them burst out, and then it stops having the little particles, and it only does that once per per stage. And I just I love I love things like that. Oh yeah, nights. I'm gonna hopefully I'm gonna do a playthrough of nights on the stream soon. And uh We'll have some fun with that. Waiting to get my Saturn back. Got it. I, I sent it off for an FRAM upgrade. So I don't lose my save data. So that's gonna be fun. Anyway, that's, that'll be it for me this time. Yeah. Like... I'll see you around. And I hope, probably next time we'll finish, but maybe not. I don't know. We gotta do the extra levels. Later, everybody.